технологии, впервые было осуществлен выход человека из корабля в космическое пространство. This is a premium way, a uh, premium method of decanting contrast, Citadel color contrast paints into an eyedropper bottle. Uh, I've worked it down. This is going to take, it takes a little bit longer to um, decant these bottles than a normal way. I think they usually claim about, um, you know, three or four hours to do all these. I haven't done them all yet, so I'm still working on them, but the, uh, this is like 10 steps to do this and but uh i think that in the end result is like it'll even last even longer because one of the things with the eyedropper bottles with the vallejo paints is they will they are prone to drying out um if they're not taken care of so uh this way i'm trying to add a little few extra steps to just make sure that the that uh the whole thing because you spent a lot for these so i just want the whole thing to um last as long as it can all right but uh so the steps that i have worked out for this are let's see what's do here one uh we're gonna see these uh contrast paints do have some pigment in them so we need to shake the bottle then we're going to uh clean The bottle actually this is we're going to clean the um ah, we're going to shake the pot there we go and we're going to clean the bottle yeah we're going to drop a bearing uh, i have these from ak interactive uh some people have shown These, uh, the Army Painter mixing bottles, I guess you can use either one, but it's a liquid. I like to save the bigger ones for paints, and then these smaller ones for, they're just slightly smaller. I think these are 5.5 millimeters, and I believe these are 4.5 or 5. Does it say? Well, anyway. point is we're going to add the agitator or we're going to use ah dang it plumber's tape around the neck Five, we're gonna put in a funnel. And, oh, ah, dang it, I forgot the funnel. Where's the funnel? All right, the funnel. These were 50 for seven and a half bucks on Amazon. So, uh, considering that the paints are 780, and if you're paying that, you're still paying too much. So be sure you can find a better price for these on the web or make a deal in cash with your local supplier, whatever. But uh, that's still a deal because you don't want to spill a drop because you'll be leaving several drops in there. Uh, six, we're going to pour the paint. Seven, we're going to put on the nozzle. Eight, we're going to add the cap. Niner. I'm going to score the pot label. And 10. We're going to remove the label. Apply the label. Alright, so there's our steps. Uh, we're gonna get the ready. We're gonna get ready with the uh, plumber's tape. I have found two inches I 
is the premium amount. So I'm going to just put this on here. I mean, come on, I mean, you know what two inches is, but here's my, the, so you don't have to do this every time, but the point is, If you never used plumber's tape before, it's a great thing. Uh, it uh, you use it around, you know, like the garden hose, spigot, or whatever. Uh, it, well, especially plumbing. All right, so shake the bottle. Step one. Go ahead and put that in here. And look at that. That really only needs to do like half a minute or so. But while that's going, we're going to go ahead and clean the bottle. And for that, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol, 91%. I take this and give it a clean. And dry it. The reason I'm doing this is because I want that label to have the best chance of surviving on this pot and these feel just a little gunky. I don't think you have to clean it that much. But. Okay. So see, no more uh, pigment at the bottom. clean bottle and the edge of titor remember uh you can you can use, like i said the everybody almost makes these so and there's and then there's some known brand ones on amazon the reason i'm adding this step first is because whenever after your contrast is in there if you add that ball bearing in there uh and it'll oh and make sure they're stainless steel don't make the mistake I did. And one time I put BBs in all of my Vallejo game paints and it ruined them all. So stainless steel. Anyway, you drop this in after you put in the contrast paint, it, it uh, just splashes back out. So that's why I'm doing it now. Now we're going to, we added the agitator. Oh, put that tape on the neck. So I'm using this thumb to hold it down, but see, there's already resistance to it. it just You just gotta get down and it just lays flat. I tried uh, three inches, and whenever I put the bottle on, and you're gonna pull it, give it some tension and pull it. Whenever I put the bottle on, or the cap on, it pulled, the cap pulled it off with it. So these are going to score and you're going to see the plastic again after it goes on. But the point is, is to, this is in between there and everything and creating an even better airtight seal. All right. Take the neck, the funnel. And pour. One more shake. Brand new bottle. Listen to the sound. All right, here we go. 780, down the drain. <laughs> uh, of course, if you're really careful, you might not need a funnel, but like I said, I don't even want to take a chance. Oh, it's the end there. I got to spill a drop.
All right. Next, uh, the nozzle. And the cap. One thing about these caps I didn't like is the, uh, you've got this little plastic piece on there that's gonna break off whenever you untie it. Well, that's the, or undo it, that's the idea. It's not working so well for me. All right, I'm gonna screw this on. Nice and tight. So far, so good. Score, oh yeah, score the pot label. Take your X-Acto knife. Now, so this label, the reason that you were gonna score it is because it's too big around, or it would overlap, which is fine. If, you, if you're fine with that, um, you can do that. Here, I'll show you. Here's one, the first one I did, and see how it overlaps. So it's score, make it nice and you can uh, keep, you know, what it doesn't matter what side you keep. Uh, I only, I kept this side because it shows the number of millimeter, milliliters. This, okay, so this is a 20 milliliter bottle. If you, any of the other decanting videos and one of them actually said, oh, you're just gonna have to lose three milliliters because the regular bottles that they get for the regular Citadel paints are 15 milliliters. But Amazon has these also for in 20 milliliters and then 30 milliliters. So 20 milliliters covers 18 milliliters. 18 milliliters. All right. Like I said, it doesn't matter which side you keep, but I prefer this one. So the scoring part. I'm just gonna go just get the last little those little drops out of there. So it's gonna take it, barely press down, and draw a line. And the faster you go, the straighter it'll be. Ah, see, good thing I got the. Let's start right here, and get a little cut. There we go. And this is the part that sucks because this part is maybe ever going to slightly see that's why I'm hoping if I cleaned it and everything like that it'll be good I'll go back on there all right you got that you want that ASMR Remove label and apply label. So that's where we're at. Just gonna pick the middle here. Oh, I don't want it on that seam though. Oh, there's another seam. Here we go. Hmm. Careful with the air bubbles. Okay. 
And there it is. Another eyedropper pot. Okay, so let's take this off. Got that agitator going in there. Uh, I think this will be pretty good. There you go. What is it? Uh, forty something more to go. Forty. Now it'll last you a long time. But I've noticed that the more liquid the Citadel paints were, like the uh, the airbrush ones and stuff like that, the longer they were going to last those bottles anyway. So, but this just makes it nice and easy. Oh, I want your paint job. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know how it works out. Bye.